Welcome to the Creative Hugza. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a Polaroid in Affinity Photo. Go to File New. Select Web. Then click FHD 1080p. Then click Create. Let's create a background for our Polaroid. Go to the Stock Panel. From the Stock Panel, you can get free stock photos from third-party sites such as Pexels, Unsplash, and Pixabay. Change the Unsplash to Pexels. Then in the search box, type Wood Background, or you can use a different background texture of your own. Find the background image that you want to use. If you want to use the same image I'm using, you can find the image in the description. When you find the image you want, click and drag it onto the document. Give it a few seconds to load onto the document. Note, if you don't have the stock panel displayed, go to the top and click the View menu. Then, scroll down to Studio and make sure that stock has a check by it. Click on it if it doesn't have a check by it. Now, go to the Layers panel. With the wood background selected, click the lock icon to lock the background image. Go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangle tool. Make the size of the rectangle 389 pixels by 474 pixels. Note, the total average size of a Polaroid image is 4.051 inches by 3.996 inches. Draw a rectangle that's 355 pixels by 355 pixels on top of the white rectangle. Set the fill color of the rectangle to black in the colors panel or from the swatches panel. In the Layers panel, select the white rectangle. Next, click the FX icon and select Outer Shadow. Set the opacity to 90%, the radius to 30%, the offset to 10 pixels, intensity to 5%, and the angle to 140%. Also, make sure the blend mode is set to Multiply. Now, go to the Stock panel. Search for Smiling and select the picture, or you can use a photo of your choosing. If you want to use the picture I used, you can also find that picture in the description. When you find the picture you want, click and drag it onto the document the same way we did the background image. Note, if Affinity Photo freezes once you drag the picture onto the document, just wait a couple of seconds. The images are large files, and it takes the software some time to read and process the image. With the image still selected, go to the Transform panel and select the Lock Aspect Ratio. Now, zoom out. You can do this by pressing Ctrl on the keyboard and rolling the ball of your mouse down or press the Z key on the keyboard. Then go to the context toolbar and increase or decrease the slider. Select your image in the layers panel. Then resize your image by dragging any of the four corners of the image inward. After that, go to the layers panel. Select the image and drag it inside of the black rectangle. This will now make the rectangle act as a clipping mask. Now, move the image so that it's visible on the document and inside of the rectangle. Then, resize the image to fit your desired design. Now this is optional, but if you want, you can create a collage of Polaroid images. First, go to the Layers panel and select both of the rectangles. Select the first one, then hold Shift to select the second one. Once you select them, press Ctrl plus G to group them together, or right-click on them and select Group. With the group selected, 
press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the group, or right click on the group and select Duplicate. Move the duplicate from the original. Now, select the image that's inside of the duplicated group. Then, press Delete on your keyboard to delete the image. Next, find the image you want to use. Let's search for something like Family from the Stock panel. Once you select your image, drag it onto the document and resize the image using the steps that we did previously. After that, go to the Layers panel. Select the image and drag it onto the black rectangle of the duplicated group. Next, move the image inside of the rectangle so that it's visible. Then, resize the image if necessary. Follow these steps until you have your desired number of images. Then, you can rearrange each of the images onto the document to fit your desired design. And this is how you create a Polaroid in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll never miss an upload.